good morning dear children so we are reading the chapter the address from snapshot book and uh, in first video we completed that math portion in which mrs darling uh, met which is s first time and uh, second thing we got to know in this part that uh, after the war the girl means the daughter of mrs s came to visit her old house okay so now we continue there is my mother said my there is my daughter said my mother means here mrs s points out her daughter to introduce her with mrs darling see back on to me the woman nodded and picked up the suitcase under the cock rack okay the woman means mrs dorling mrs dorling uh, nodded in a positive way that she got to know that this is the daughter of her hers and thereafter she picked up that suitcase she wore a brown coat and a shapeless hat at that time the lady was wearing a brown coat and she plays hat does she live far away i asked means here the question has been put to mrs dolling does she live far away seeing the difficulty she had going out of the house with the heavy case with the heavy case means with the heavy suitcase okay uh, in marconi street said my mother the mother of uh, the daughter means mrs s replied in marconi street this is the address number 46 remember that remember that means number house number 46 marconi street that was the address where mrs s lives i had remembered it okay means that uh, the daughter of mrs s remembered that address but i had waited a long time to go there waited for a long time okay initially after the liberation after the ending of the war after the liberation after the freedom i was absolutely not interested in all that stored stuff stored stuff means antique things collected by mrs s and naturally i was also rather afraid of it the daughter was absolutely not interested and actually or naturally she wasn't in, she was not uh, she was afraid of these things afraid of being confronted with things which things and the things that had belonged to a connection that no longer existed which connection the relationship of daughter and mother with that no longer existed why it is not no longer existed because mrs s is no more okay which were hidden away in covers and boxes all the antique things they were covered they were hidden in covers and boxes and waiting in vain until they were put back in their place again and all these things they were waiting to be put on their respective place again from where they have been taken which has endured all those years because they were things because they were things okay so my dear children i told in initially that things means things refers to all the antique things which were being uh, you can say collected by mrs s and they were stored by in the, in her house so things refer to antique things then but gradually everything became more normal again okay it took some time and everything became normal bread was getting to be lighter color there was a bad you could 
sleep in unthreatened a room with a view you were more used to blessing at each other and one day i noticed i was curious about all the possessions that must still be at that address so my dear children there are three things one there was a bed okay you could sleep very comfortably second thing there was a room where you can view a very uh, good kind of you can see that gives comfort to the eyes okay and one day and so you one more thing a uh, bread was getting to be lighter color the eating bread fine so and one day that daughter noticed that she was so curious to see all these possessions possessions means things and uh, things means antique things that must still be at the address all these things must be still at the address and what is the address 46 marconi street i wanted to see them touch remember means mrs s's daughter wanted to see all these antique things she wanted to touch all these things she wanted to remember somebody and who's that person her mother mrs s so my dear children she decided one day to go to that 46 marconi street the address and she thought that all thing must be on the respective place but things will take place on other hand got it so she decided to visit that house that's why she came to the house next after my first visit in vain to mrs dolling house see when the chapter get started initially we got to know that the girl mrs s's daughter has reached at the address and she had a unpleasant conversation with the mrs dolling now she thought that my first visit was useless to mrs dolling house i decided to try a second time now the girl decided to go back once again now a girl of about 15 opened the door man can you imagine who that girl whose age is 15 years i told you on that this girl is the daughter of mrs dolling open the door she open the door to me i asked her if her mother was at home and mrs s daughter asked to darling's daughter that if is there if her mother at home no she said my mother is doing an errand errand small works okay small household courses so she is not at home no matter i said i'll wait for her this word this sentence is spoken by mrs s's daughter that no problem if mrs dolling is not at home i will wait for her so this time my dear children you can see that mrs dolling was not at home and as mrs s's daughter faced the negative aspect of conversation with mrs dolling at the first meeting fortunately she could not get second time now i followed the girl means the girl the girl allowed her to come in along the passage through the you know corridor or the way an old fashioned iron hanukka hanukka means the feast of light a harbrew festival in december so she followed the girl candle holder hung next to the next to a mirror see candle holder antique things 
kanuka and take things we never used it because it was much more cumbersome than a single candlestick so i told you in the story that this candle holder or candlestick was also uh, also an antique things they never used means mrs s and her daughter they never had used this candlestick but this time when the girl was inside the house she got to see that this candlestick or candle holder was used or was uh, carelessly used i should say now want to sit down asked the girl the girl asked uh, mrs s daughter to take seat she held up open the door of the living room and i went inside past her so the girl passed that daughter of mrs dolling and take took seat in the living room <laughs> i stopped horrified i was in a room i knew and did not know right now mentally the girl was observing all the antique things stored by mrs s in that room she was in the same room she writes here i was in a room i knew but did not know she both the things are there at one step she confirms that she knew the room she knew the room on the second step she did not know why because all the things they were concerned to him but they were not in the same condition as they left them in past time <laughs> i found myself in the midst of things means she was surrounded by the and take things i did not i did want to see them see again the girl was looking at them but which oppressed me the strange atmosphere when she was surrounded by all these things at that moment she was oppressed with a strange atmosphere or because of the tasteless way everything was arranged means all the things all the antique things they were arranged in a tasteless means not in a proper order not in a proper sense you can say was everything was in uh, arranged because of the ugly furniture or the muggy smell that hung there reason were two maybe ugly smell ugly furniture sorry and muggy smell that hung there i don't know but i secretly dare to look around me uh you can say very comfortably or where being very alert the girl took a round of the house with her eyes the girl moved a chair the girl came with a chair and i sat down she sat down and stared at the woolen table cloth now again this one is an antique piece okay so this woolen table cloth was an antique piece i rubbed it means mrs s's daughter was rubbing with her finger like this okay my finger grew warm from rubbing it's very scientific that if we rub something with our hands it gets warm i followed the lines of the pattern means this woolen table cloth has some kind of design over it so the, the girl's finger was moving as per the pattern like this okay somewhere on the edge there should be a burn mark that had never been repaired so with her physical touch the daughter of mrs as found that this woolen table cloth had a hole which were burned it means the table cloth was used very carelessly and has not been repaired fine so this is the observation of the girl in the room where she 
knew that everything was concerned to her. My mother will be back soon, said the girl. Okay, Darling's daughter said to um, Mrs. Ashi daughter that Mrs. Darling will be back very soon. I have already made tea for her. Means the girl had made tea for her mother. Will you have a cup? Means the daughter of Mrs. Darling offers a cup of tea uh, to Mrs. Ashi's daughter also. So here, my dear children, we can create difference between both the characters of mother and daughter. Means Darling and her daughter. Like Darling, Mrs. Darling did not ask to come in to Mrs. S's daughter while Mrs. Darling's daughter was so kind in comparison to her mother that she did not uh, only offered her to come in but even she also offered a cup of tea so this is the good hospitality shown by darling's daughter thank you i looked up the girl put cups ready on the tea table means mrs darling daughter got uh, made ready the tea tray on the table she had a broad back broad back means like Mrs. Darling is a healthy woman, in the same way her daughter was also heavy, healthy, heavy, healthy like this. Just like her mother. She poured tea from a white pot. Okay. From a, you can say white pot. All it had was a gold border on the lid. And she this teapot white teapot was also an antique things okay it was made of gold border on the lid i remembered she opened a box and took some spoons out and that time after putting that tea after pouring that tea in a white pot the girl took some spoons from a box that's a nice box. I heard my voice again. Means the girl was observing. Mrs. S. daughter was observing each and every point. So she found that box very nice. It was a strange voice as though each sound was different in this room. Each sound. Each sound means the sound created by their different sound. Like first sound. The first sound created by the antique things. Second sound that was inner sound of that Mrs. S's daughter heart okay and third sound that belongingness of Mrs. S with these antique things so here all the things are emotional all the things are of imaginative of imagination so sounds refer to different things now oh you know about them she had turned round and brought me my tea. You know about them? I mean, the girl asked to Mrs. Hesse daughter, Do you know about these things? She laughed. My mother says it is antique. Means whose mother? Mrs. Darling says it is antique. We have got lots more. Which means there are so many in the house. She pointed around the room. She pointed that, okay, see, we have lots more. We have so many. See for yourself. You can check yourself. This is the permission given by Mrs. Darling's daughter to Mrs. S. Okay, now, I had no need to follow her hand. Why? Means Mrs. Do the, Mrs. S's daughter... Uh, did not need to follow um, darling's daughter hand why because she knows everything very well she has passed her childhood here i knew which things she meant i just looked at the still life over the tea table means again the tea table the antique things has been focused here 
एज अ चाइल्ड आई हैड ऑलवेज फैंसी द एप्पल ऑन द पब्लिक प्लेट मीन्स वन शी वॉज हियर वन शी वॉज चाइल्ड मिसिज एस एज डॉटर ऑलवेज पुट द एप्पल इन दिस पाउटर प्लेट टू ईट ओके सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे द रिमेनिंग पार्ट वी विल डिस्कस इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो टिल देन डो रीडिंग एंड टेक केयर थैंक यू हैव अ गुड डे